fourth grade class, gym. Um, I was in my middle school classroom, and uh, they put it on the news. A seventh grade middle school classroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, it was sixth grade, and I was just heading to um, my, I think it was geography class, and uh, right as that happened, all the teachers turned the TVs on and get a glimpse of what was going on, and I guess that's when the planes just hit the towers. Um, I was in a math class, uh, grade school. They called us into the, the church. I went to a private Catholic school, and um, we were all kind of wondering, did we do something wrong? Like, what was going on? And um, they informed us that um, one of the buildings had been hit, and um, my aunt was actually working in one of the buildings, and um, so obviously I was scared. But um, it was a real shock, you know, because I'd been there that summer before, so. Getting ready for school. Getting ready for school? Yeah, I like, cut on the news and to see what time it is to keep up with the time if I want to miss the bus, and that was wide open. I ain't believe it at first till I seen that second plane hit, and then, you know, I ain't go to school that day. I was in third grade at lunch. I was in my sixth grade reading class, and my teacher pulled us aside and we were just like sitting at a desk and she told us about it. Um, I was at school and I was uh, waiting to hear from my mom about my father who was uh, near the buildings that day. He was working, he was a uh, NYPD officer. I didn't know what was going on. Like I had just learned to speak English, so I kind of didn't know I just saw two buildings like burning, and I was like, uh oh. Oh, I, I was sad. I mean, I was only 10 years old, and you know, being uh, exposed to something like this. But uh, I mean, you couldn't really understand being at the age I was, you know, why they did it. But now it, it's clear. It was like my stomach had dropped. You know. Well, I mean, you know, I felt really bad and I was emotional, but I wasn't really scared for my life or anything. I just remember all my teachers coming outside and bringing us all inside, and uh, they were very upset. We all went inside and they sat us down and told us what was happening, and then our parents started coming in and taking us out of class. I was more sad, I guess. I mean, I don't know, it's just a really sad event. I just try not to, I don't know, I just don't really think about it that much. I try not to. How did you feel when you saw it? Were you angry? I was scared. I mean, because I was younger. I mean, who wouldn't be? Of course, because things were blowing up. And I was in school without my parents and stuff like that. So. Um, I think we were a little bit too young to really understand, but we kind of like got it that it was not good that it happened. So. Uh, you know, a couple of years later, uh, when, you know, they do the September 11th, you know, we remember what happened. It, uh, it started having a bigger impact on me because you know, I started caring more about people. And uh, it was just sad that, you know, uh, the terrorists and things like that, they're, they're not, they're, they don't like our country, you know, they don't like our freedoms. And it's almost like they're jealous about it. And so they, they take it out on us and the people, you know. And so it kind of started hitting me, hitting home here, you know, so. <laughs> it's not necessarily what, what I did, it was, it was what my mother did. She was extremely cautious. I mean, you know, to say that she was over, overprotective before is kind of an understatement. Now, there was like a, a newfound fear that the American public had to face. I didn't want to fly at all. I remember my mom flew right after that and I was really scared and I cried and didn't want her to go. Um, now it just takes really long in the airports, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> feel like it ain't safe nowhere. You just got to be aware of everything you do, who's all around you. That's basically about it. So, with your dad being in the military, I mean, how did it change your life after that? Um, well, because we lived on base, like, they wouldn't allow anyone to come on base. Like, you had to have, everyone in the car had to have a military ID card, and, like, they would search your car, <laughs> so it made it really, like, strict on base for, like, a while. I actually went on a plane trip three months later and security was much tighter and I became more aware of what was going on at the airport. Um, we moved to Florida. Initially it didn't really change my life at all because, you know, you're 11 years old, you're not really thinking about what's going on like a world, Middle East and all that stuff, but 
you know, as the years went on, you know, you hear all these people talking about conspiracy theories and why we're in Iraq, why we're in Afghanistan. And it really puts everything into focus now. So it's, it's changed my life a lot now.